Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. That way you know Dream Team is when we upload new content. Big unk, all right, we get right to it. Lake Show, Lakers Nation, Sign big pickup. Big Ben McLemore. Kansas own, yeah. Kansas own for real. Uh, ben Blackmore from uh, the Houston Rockets. Mm-hmm. Um, for most people, if you're a casual, doesn't mean much. If you watch the games and you enter the league like we are, big pickup. He fills a major void. Well, let me stop you right there. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you there because you know the, and I'm quite sure in the comment section. At this point, somebody's not even listening anymore. They're already typing in, like, you acting like y'all just got a superstar. And this is what people don't understand. Every team don't need a bunch of superstars. Everybody got to play a role. Yeah. Everybody got to play their part. And when you need a piece and you find that exactly that someone that does that, he, he, he plays a superstar role. He's not a superstar. Mm-hmm. And we're not trying to, you know, big him up. To be, all he needs to do is come in and do what he does. Mm-hmm. And that's knock down open shots. And he does that. Yeah. He does that. Yeah. Well, first of all, before we even get into that, as far as the whole people in the comment section, he's not another superstar. And they'll argue about that. But if Braun had got another star, that would be an argument, too. So you can't please those type of individuals. So mm-hmm. we're not dealing with that. We're dealing with basketball. And Ben Blackamore, we've been down here watching these games forever. Yeah. Through text message, you communicate with me. Yo, they need a 3 and D, man. You've been saying this for weeks. Yeah, yeah. And they finally filled the void. Mm-hmm. And you will see. When you gauge it, when he plays with AD and Braun, you're going to see how it opens up the floor for him that... How many times we watch the game and nobody can hit an open three pointer? Right, right. Exactly. Wide open, open three pointers. Yeah, wide open. And but hit. since we stand with three point, I'm not even gonna go into defense yet, which you know I love. <laughs> talk your talk. Right, but the three point shooting. Not only is he just gonna bring three point. He's not the that knockdown three point shooter. That that's all he can actually do. He can put the ball on the floor and get to the rack. That he can. It, and he's and he's a willing passer. And he can slash. Yeah. Oh, he's a great slasher. Yeah. Yes, because he finishes. Mm-hmm. He's a high flyer. He's a yeah. high flyer. I know he's only 6'3". And here we go. I can move right on in, in, right on into what I love, defense. Let's go. And so, you know, you said that we've been texting back and forth. And all season long, we're talking about a 3 and D. Mm-hmm. A 3 and D. 3 and D. So, do we, did they really get a 3 and D? By getting back Ben McLemore, who's 6'3". So, he's really not a wing defender when you look at it and then you, I don't go by if you go by what everybody says is that he's not a great defender but you know what I go by the eye test you know uh, PNR and all that stuff that they just, they can keep that mm-hmm. I go by the eye test and I watch as much as they talk about you know Houston with Harden last year and they had a reputation of not playing defense mm-hmm. But if you pay attention, that last year Houston Rockets team, and check the stats, yeah, they played defense. They had the def- defenders on that team. They yeah. had um PJ Tucker was there. Right, they, Daniel played, House was defenders. They played some defense. Coming ten, yeah, they especially played, in the bubble. Yeah, they played. Defense. They was playing defense. Yeah, and Macklemore was one of them. Was one of them. And guess what? He's six three. Mm-hmm. When he was in the game, guess what position he was playing a lot. The three. three. Yeah, he did. At 6'3. Yeah. So is he a lockdown defender? Yeah. No. But if he can play solid defense, and then you got the defensive player of the year that wasn't the defensive of the player yeah, of the year coming back. And and all we can do is think positive is that is that Anthony Davis is coming back at at one hundred percent and a one hundred percent Anthony Davis is covering up any holes defensively yeah and if you're giving effort and i and i believe ben mclemore is going to give effort and it's perfect because he's a free agent he's young free agent and he's in a position where he can actually help lead a team 
into a championship. Yeah. And boom. so he's already he, he haven't even stepped on the floor yet. Yeah. And he's already affected the team. Yeah. Yeah. You hyped right now. So imagine how you feel right now. But how did how did he affect the game? He already affected the game because as soon as they signed him, as soon as they signed him, got to guard my the, minutes. The first game, all the guys from Dennis Schroeder, Caruso, KCP, Wesley Matthews, they all start knocking down threes. Why is that? I text you, Caruso look like Steve Kerr tonight. <laughs> <Right. laughs> like, what has been? You know why? Minutes. Pressure. Light a fire. Listen. Right. We, they, they just picked up a shooter. Why? Because we're not knocking it. THT, we left him out too. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, I believe that's been one of the problems with his game. His game is, and now that he's been scouted, right? Everyone knows exactly what we know when we watch the games. When he get the ball, he's going to the basket. He's going. He's trying to get to the basket. He's trying to. So you know, THT we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to get to the basket, but perhaps most of the time, the shot is already there when he gets the ball, and he's so the, the defense is waiting on him in the paint. So now he gets out of control. Yeah. Because he's trying to force him way his way in there, but if he pull up and start making those shots, the game will become easier for him. Mm-hmm. And I believe that's the one thing that's missing from his game that if he not that he makes them i just need him to take them yeah he 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 passes up a lot of um, a lot of open shots happy feet pump fake and then trying to go to the rack right no take what the defense give you yeah and and keep the game simple and once he once that that is going to open up everything for him yeah and and so if i believe between him caruso and and kcp somebody minutes is gonna have to yeah, because you know those rotations are going to shrink. They have to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm not going to play the, the role of Frank Vogel, but I I really believe that uh, Wesley Matthews' minutes are going to diminish tr- drastically. I don't know. Drastically. I don't know. I got, I, I, I got to, I, I, I think I need to be talking about He's been playing better. He's been playing better. He's been playing better, but I've been watching his defense. Yeah. And, uh, He's, he plays some decent defense lately. Yeah, but I'm always going to play the devil's advocate. Right. And I could be wrong, but throughout the season, he's played so bad, anything would be better. True. True. He had some games where he, he was on a donut. I mean, with Braun on the floor. You're getting some, wide open. Some games? You mean, you said some games. Well, like, yeah, it was <laughs> multiple games. Yeah, no doubt, yeah. 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 Because like, at one time, we was looking at it, it was like in seven games, he scored three point mm-hmm. you know and I know he's on he's not getting a bunch of minutes and all that but yeah. the reason why is because they need people to knock down shots yeah, true. you know you a three and D you know and then these are players that this is all they specialize in yeah yeah so that's what we're expecting and that's, and that's what going back to Ben McLemore um, I believe when if his shot is not hit and he can still offer the team something because i think he can get to the basket and help create shots for other people yeah you know and yeah and then you listen we we're going through all of that and then we got about ad yeah. well ad2 oh mr Drummond. yeah 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 um we yeah, we, we we was all excited we didn't get a chance to see him um because of his toe injury but uh i'm excited to see but you know what he brings up yeah. He's gonna bring that motor and that effort. But so I want to see how it come together. Yeah, you know, he's gonna bring that energy. He's gonna extra shots for them to knock down. That's mm-hmm. the, you know, you miss, but if you you you, you, you get in the offensive rebound, he'll be it. You, you you but you got you got to make them. Yeah, you got to make them. And even with this team right now, without Anthony Davis and or Anthony or or, or, or Drummond or LeBron. It, that defense is still high ranked. Yeah, they 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 up yeah, for sure. Yeah. There's a lot of games that they've lost because this lack of just making. Can't, you can you can you can play defense, but you still got to put the ball in the bucket, mm. and they haven't done that. Oh, how can we? Um, yeah, big ups to Markeith Morris, man. He's, he's been balling. He's been since the All Star break. He's been balling. He's been balling, and it's it's going to be hard. Vogel got his hands I don't envy full. Him at all. As far as rotations go, right, I mean, because right now he's in the game because Anthony Davis is not there. Yeah. So, who, 
somebody minutes is gonna somebody's not playing. Well, it's a lot of bit because when AD comes back, you got have Drummond, Trez, and I apologize, Marcus All. The last couple of games you've been balling, and, and I'm it's not Marcus All of old, but he's been plugging in and doing what we expected him to do in the beginning of the year. So that's another situation vocal it's a that's good a problem such, yeah. it's, it's a good problem right. to have yeah but you got to keep these players mm -hmm. not not i wouldn't say motivated but happy to some degree because they're, they're going to want minutes but some players you're there based on the matchup with the opposing team right and i and, and that's the thing lakers get healthy mm -hmm. vogel playing chess because mm. he have all the pieces to play chess with is is just watching him put it together for the different they 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 they're pretty much set to, to match up against any team yeah. in this league. Yeah. I don't care how stacked they are from the the the, the all the monsters over there in Brooklyn mm -hmm. and all that. That when you look at player for player, roster for roster, the Lakers are set. A healthy Lakers. They're uh -huh. set to match up against any team that's in the league. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Imagine being a team like, because the West is so deep right now, right? So you right. can lose two games and you fall down mm -hmm. probably a spot or two, right? Imagine being a team like Phoenix, right? Right. And you work so hard all season. And you got to play them in the first you round. You got to play a healthy Lakers in, in the, the first round. And a well-rested Anthony Davis and, and a well-rested LeBron. That's it. So Lakers Nation out there, I, I know it's been a trying time because this is like unprecedented, right? Like mm -hmm. a team to be coming off a championship run and then the next season, it feels like it's heartbreak after heartbreak. But it's a blessing in disguise because no, when you look at you it... Can blame, you can blame the pandemic for that, this. That's what I was going to get into. Most the turnaround are, time was right. just... Most teams are feeling the effect uh, from the pandemic of having people out because of the, the protocol. protocol. Yeah, Right. But... The, the Lakers problem, I believe, major problem is because of not protocol, but because of the pandemic and the way the league had to do things last year. And the fact that they won a championship and then turn right back around and have to come right back again. And these are not all just young players like LeBron is 36 years old. Mm -hmm. And the injury that he has is is a, is a it was a freak accident. Yeah. You know, what I mean, so but again, like I said, all things work together for the good. I didn't see. LeBron having to carry this team all this time without Anthony Davis and then be fresh enough to lead them to the finals during the, during the playoffs. Mm -hmm. But a well-rested LeBron James. It's a problem. This, he was back at the game the other night that they played Toronto? Like, against Toronto. And just the whole energy, the way they played, was totally di was totally different. He and of course he's always engaged with his teammates, and you saw it. And and I don't see how uh, people don't want to play play there because you can see the camaraderie that they have together, the get to togetherness that they have. And I really do believe and 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 that that that's a great environment to be in. It is without yeah. a doubt, man. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you don't hear all that bickering and stuff going on over there. Like they having a good time. They're family. And see, and that's what I know. A lot of the LeBron James fans that's only in LA because LeBron James is there. They're finding and they 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 they're enjoying being in an organization that actually is an organization that has a plan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and and it's not the players against the, the organization and all that kind of stuff. You know, we come. And right now, I think that the Lakers organization, well, I, they always been mm -hmm. that, that type of organization. They take care of their players, and uh, they're about what it's all about, winning championships. No doubt, man. So, um, once again, um, Ben Lackamore. Wait a minute. But I know where you're going with this. You I was, let Schroeder I was trying to refrain from it. I was trying to end on a happy note, be positive, give Ben Lackamore his flowers, and welcome him. To a, a winning championship uh, type atmosphere, door. Dennis Schroeder, man, big unk opened up the door. Now, what's up, man? 
I, I'm not pleased with what I'm seeing. No. I, I thought it was a, 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 a couple of game sample. I'm like, you know what? He's going to get out of his rut. He The jump shot isn't falling like it used to in OKC and well, Atlanta. Well, he's been shooting a lot better now. Better. But like but see, I said, with my Wesley pro- Matthews, my it's problem, been so bad, anything my, looks my better. My problem is this. Because he has the same issue that I was just talking about with THT. He's open, wide open for the three, but he's not taking it. And and and, and the and, pump fake isn't even, it's not even realistic. It's, no true defender is biting on that pump fake that he's throwing up no, there. Right. So my thing about it is, why why would he's not taking it? And it, because his shooting percentage is up, and he's playing for a contract. I get the same. So I get the same feeling from from KCP at times because he's he's shooting forty percent from from three point range. But what? But it ain't affecting the game because you won't take the shot. So what you're really saying is, to, in layman's terms, analytics is it's, controlling it's, their it's, style it's, of play. Exactly. You worry about what your shooting percentage looks like, but you're hurting the team. With Schroeder, my issue with him is the same as yours as far as not taking the shots, but I. His motor on offense isn't the same as it is on defense at times. Yeah. At, at sometimes, Lackadaisical. Yeah, he's yeah. playing around with the ball. Turn, too many turnovers. Yeah. Too many turnovers. It's like he's not focused. Or maybe he's not who I thought he was. Maybe no. that's my fault. That's impossible because what we because what we saw from him, especially over there in OKC. He was a six man. Maybe he's not a starter. Well. That could be an issue. And that's why I say Vogel has his hands full because there is someone you can play when Braun and him comes back. Mm-hmm. Although Schroeder's ego at this point is probably not, he's not willing to do that. Right. Caruso in the starting lineup and having Schroeder come off the bench with the second unit with Trez. is a lot better because LeBron is already handling the ball. So you don't need him in there with LeBron handling the ball. And this is the thing. I don't want to cut you off, but I'm a little, uh, <laughs> I'm energetic when it comes to this because the difference with Dennis Schroeder, they would say about Rondo last year, is that him and Braun can't play on the court together because they both need the ball, right? Right. But Schroeder doesn't have Rondo's IQ. Right. And that's the issue. Mm-hmm. Right. If he doesn't have the ball, he can't even set up the next play, make the hockey pass. Because if he doesn't have the ball, he's just out there. He's not going to shoot the ball. He's going right. to pump fake. Mm-hmm. And the offense is just stagnant. Well, if why I you had to do this? Man? If I was the coach... And, you know, we all are coaches. We all think we're the, we the coach. But if I was the coach, I already found my way to get Ben McLemore his minutes. I'm here. What, what you doing? I'm, 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 I'm replacing. I'm not replacing him with Caruso. I'm replacing him with Ben McLemore in the start lineup. So we letting Braun run the point. Well, well, Bron is running the point. Yeah, what are you talking yeah, about? Just to make sure, yeah, yeah, Bron yeah. is gonna Bron is gonna run the point even when Schroeder's there. My thing is, now you got KCP mm-hmm. who ain't off the hook, but I'm 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 counting on him to be KCP of the bubble. Okay, I got you. all right, because he's another one hesitant to shoot. Yes, it's man. like he's trying to keep his. It's P and R and all that. <laughs> and all that thing. No, don't worry about that. You, you're here. To, this is what you do. Mm-hmm. You play solid defense and you knock down open shots. But if you're not taking the open shots, you're hurting the team. Period. Yeah. And He's another one with the fake and fumbling yeah. with the ball instead of shooting it. He's having an all-around overall off here because he's even missing wide-open layups now, man. And, and what, what, what I'm hoping is that, because he had some, he was banged up. Yeah, them knick-knack injuries, man. He, right, and and, knack and, injuries. and now that's how you you can get Ben McLemore acclimated. Mm. Once everybody gets back, allow KCP to get better. Gotcha. Let him heal up, and and around playoff time, because he hadn't played all year. Playoff time, get him in there, and I I believe that uh. They'll be fine. Oh, they're gonna be fine. But Schroeder, Schroeder, I, I, I agree. I agree. I was kind of stubborn with it because I had I was so hyped when when the Lakers picked up Schroeder, mm-hmm. and um, but I'm not pleased. Down t- uh, twenty million, I believe, eighty four million dollar contract. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's room. That's what rumor says that yeah. we turned that down, and that's the max of what 
the Lakers can pay him. But he wants to go out and test the market. And, um, I mean, that's his right. It is. That's his right. But at the same time, you, you're playing Russian roulette because – if you don't, you don't have a team that, that's going to even offer you the eighty-four million. Let's say that, and and I'm quite sure they're going to go by what they're watching happen now. Unless you already got something in play already, but if they're watching the way you're playing now, what, do 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 they really want to invest this kind of money in in him? No, it, it wouldn't be wise. So but. now you got to go back to the no- negotiation table with the Lakers, and you don't even have an offer out. There for the eighty four that they they offered you, and you lose your leverage is now. So gone. do they really have to give you that? No. Nah. Well, the, the Lakers strategically, you know, they they had to do that right as far as salary cap goes because if you lose them, you're, right, you're not getting that that sixteen million that he's that, that he's being paid. That's not coming back on. Then you got six. You can go out there and get your player at sixteen million. That they that doesn't work like that. It only works because they got his bird rights. You know that like that. So so that's why. If he walks, they just lose. They just lose him, and they can't replace him. Even if there was someone out there that wanted to come, because they don't have the money. Yeah. Yeah. So. Listen, man, Dennis Schroeder. I don't know. Picking I, up Ben Mac- Mclemore was, was a, a high point. Huge. huge. It, it is, but huge. that issue needs to be resolved because he, he just needs to play better. That's he just needs to act like he wants to play. Sometimes he's just out there. Let's the Clippers game. I seen he had no fire, mm-hmm. no motor. Mm-hmm. And that's just one game. And you would think that's a nationally televised game. This is 3:30 on Easter. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. If I'm paying you over 25 million uh to play, um I'm not paying you that when you can't play on the level I need you to play with. Unless LeBron is playing with you, mm-hmm. no, I'm expecting you to add on to what LeBron is doing. No doubt, you know, and and I mean, I'm not gonna say like he doesn't have quality. He has a lot of quality, but he those turnovers, he, the, his decision making. I mean, it's careless turnovers too. It's it's one, but three and four, the ball you 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 you're doing. You're dribbling the ball and, and you're making a lackluster move to the basket and it's going off your leg and out of bounds. The, those little things have to stop. Bad passes, it has to stop. It has to stop. But this that's the difference between um playing basketball or championship ball. Yeah, that, that's yeah. a valid point right yeah. there. But all in all, man, um the Lakers gonna turn it around, man, because they have great leadership, great culture, and they have Jason Top nice players, yeah, no doubt. I'm sure. I'm, and Jason Kidd is a is a coach, and he's a point guard. And he already know, and obviously he, I don't know. You need to be listening to Jason Kidd. Yeah, without a doubt, man. Yeah. So we'll see going forward, man. The Lakers picked up Ben Lacamoire. That's what this is about. Like filling that void. Yeah. Things are looking great. Once Putting again, the pressure on a lot of people. No doubt. On that roster, from all of those positions. From the the one and two, mm. because when you got LeBron, remember, um, Avery Bradley wasn't really that uh, a point guard, but when they played Bradley and KCP, they that was the starters, that mm-hmm. was the starting guards, because LeBron was running running it. So you can you can you can put two shooters at that position with LeBron running the point. Yeah, and I believe that Ben McLemore, I watch him, he can he could uh, take a little pressure off LeBron as far as bringing the ball up court. And getting them, not actually getting them started in the set, but you know how you, they come down and they 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 run a little a uh, 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 directional as if they're going this way, but the it's really going Inside. to where LeBron can actually start. But that's just to give him a little rest and of having to be dribbling the ball up when teams pressuring yeah. coming up. But I think Macklemore can handle stuff like that, mm-hmm. and that's what start, that's what Schroeder need to be doing. But he's not running the offense and put and. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt because in OKC, okay, he has CP3, yeah. but I'm not concerned with that. I'm concerned with he always had a lob threat. Okay, because I watched him in no, in Noel, Noel, Noel. That was that was a nice little combination. Yeah, and he haven't 
really he really haven't formed that. I thought he would form that with AD. He didn't form that with AD when AD was playing, and he there's no really other lob threat. Now they got Drummond. I believe that that's gonna be a, that could work out to be a nice little two man game between them two. Yeah. We'll see, man. Hopefully. Yeah, I hope so. Whether he gets on board or not, man. It's still... Thing, right. Thing. If he gets on board, mm. it's going to be it's gonna be easy. Yeah, it will be. If, I mean, if he... I believe he's on board because at this point, like I said, playing with these guys, you how could you not want to be there? I'm not saying he's a cancer to the team, but it's just need that that motor. He just... Yeah. Like, what we saw last player. year in OKC, we, we, we haven't seen that Schroeder yet. Not at all. No, we've seen him... And, in spurts of some games, yeah, but I, uh, every game I I used to watch OKC, to, uh, to, so I can watch Schroeder and KCP. I mean, uh, and, and CP3 yeah. last year, and that's what I was expecting to come here. And I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah. All right. Well, AD and Bron will be back soon, man. Currently, the Lakers in the middle of the pack of the West. Um, it's not a team you want to face in the first round or any round. Yeah. Period. Um, things looking up. Ben McLemore, huge pickup. For all the casuals out there, just tune into a couple of games. You'll see the difference. He's a baller. He fits the situation. Perfect. Perfect. So before we close out, you got anything else you want to say? That's it. All right. So Lakers fans or anyone out there who's watching, comment below. Let us know what you think about the pickup with Ben McLemore. Also, Dennis Schroeder, have you noticed that he hasn't been playing up to the same level as last year? If you agree, let us know. If not, let us know below as well. Um, also, like the video. Um, subscribe to the channel and most importantly hit the notification bell that way you know Dream Team is out there when we upload new content this is Team Sports Entertainment the podcast we out of here y'all be good peace hey yo